What's going on guys, Joe Cruz here back with another PC build. In today's build, it will be a budget build from parts that I was able to get through the Build a PC Sales subreddit. So stay tuned. So today's video will be a budget build. Most of the parts that I use in this video, I was able to get through the subreddit build APC sales. For those of you who don't know about this subreddit, I definitely recommend for you guys to check it out. This subreddit is pretty much a community of people that shares links to deals that they find online or even in store. Specifically, it usually has something to do with computers. It could be motherboard, power supply, mouse, keyboard, and sometimes even headsets. I will post the link in the description box below for those of you guys that are interested. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I was able to get through this subreddit. Here you go. Now, out of all these parts, the only part that I really didn't get through this subreddit is actually this power supply right here. The reason why is uh, EVGA does a midweek madness sales. Uh, it's usually every Wednesday midnight and they usually put like power supply on sale for pretty cheap. Like this one I was able to get for I think $20, $19.99. Sometimes you can get like a power supply of 500 watts for $14.99, which are pretty good. Sometimes you don't even have to wait for the midweek madness. The reason why is they also still sell some B stocks. What it is is whenever the midweek madness just gets in there, um, they just give you an extra discount off those B stocks. For those of you guys that are interested in getting a deal off the midweek madness, um, I do recommend for you guys to wait like a few minutes before midnight, um, Tuesday night because some of the heavily discounted items are so limited so it will only be available for a few minutes. I will also link the EVGA's Midweek Madness and B-Stock right down in the description below. All right, let's go ahead and build this PC.
art, you guys. Our build is actually done. As you guys can see, I purchased the case that has the three RGB fans pre-installed. I know we could have saved at least $30 if we purchased the one that didn't have those RGB fans pre-installed, but I really like how they look like. One thing I didn't notice when I was purchasing this case was that the RGB fans that it came with actually was a three pin connector, not a five pin. Uh, the motherboard that I have has a five pin connector. So the only way I can control the RGB fans now is by the button that it has up top over here, just like this. Either way, I still like how it looks like. Even if I couldn't control it using the motherboard, at least there's that button in there pre-installed. For those of you guys that just want pure performance, you guys can just buy the most affordable case and then put the money that you saved into your GPU or CPU. Let me show you guys how much this PC cost. I was able to buy the Ryzen 1600 and the Gigabyte motherboard as a combo and I paid $134.99. As for the EVO Spear DDR4 RAM, I was able to get it for $68.49. For the Gigabyte RX 570 graphics card, I was able to get it for $109 after a $20 rebate. As for our 480 gig TC Sunbow SSD, I was able to get it for $41.64. And for our case, I purchased the one with the RGB fans included, which brought it up to $79.99. And finally, our power supply. It was from EVGA Midweek Madness at $19.99, with a grand total of $454.11, which is actually a really good deal considering that all our parts that we got are brand new, except for our power supply, which was a refurbished unit. All right, so let's go ahead and test the benchmarks. All our tests will be in 1080p since this is a budget build and I don't expect for anybody that has a budget build to run a 1440p monitor or even a 4K monitor. All right, here's the benchmarks.
Son muchos de esos hombres. You can never be too safe. You're very gracious. Thank you. We should go. So what do you guys think about the benchmarks? I think they're actually pretty good considering that we paid $450 for this PC. Now I know in the used market we can actually get a better performance, but a lot of people don't want to go out there and hunt for used parts. And for those people, I do recommend for you guys to check out the Build a PC Sales subreddit and make sure you install Reddit's app on your phone and turn on the alerts for Build a PC Sales subreddit. That way you get a notification whenever something is trending. But I do recommend just to keep checking it from time to time because sometimes when it is really a good deal, it will go out of stock before you guys even receive the notification. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys like it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please get subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.